Rodrigo, and today I'm gonna to show you how to program drums in Ableton Live. So let's get started. So generally speaking, there are two ways to work with your drums in Ableton. Um, you can just place drum samples where you want them on an audio track, or you can work with Ableton's drum rack. So let me just give you a quick example of the first way, because we're mostly gonna be um, working with the drum rack today. So I'm gonna come to arrangement view. I have two audio tracks. I'm just gonna do something really simple with kick and snare. Um, let's find some drums. So just picking a sample of just dragging the audio sample of the kick um, to the first beat. There we go. Um, maybe I'll make like a little hip hop beat here. So since it's more of hip hop drum sounds, let's get a snare. All right. Let's see here. All right, and then I can just highlight that, duplicate it as many times as I want. So now it's gonna go on for a little bit longer. All right, so that's generally the idea of how you're placing samples in the timeline. Um, so I prefer to use the drum rack. This can get a little bit difficult to edit once you have you know, different lane for your kick, your snare, your hi-hats, all your sounds it can get a little bit sloppy. Um, there are some benefits to doing it this way, but generally the drum rack is really the way to go, at least in my opinion. So um, let's start working with the drum rack. I'm just gonna create a new MIDI track, which is Shift Command T on a Mac. Um, so I'm gonna go here into my browser click instruments, and then here's my drum rack. Okay, you can either double click or drag and drop the drum rack onto the track. Okay, and you'll see it appeared here in the lower left-hand corner. So what the drum rack is, is really a bunch of empty slots here. You can see it kind of looks like a MIDI drum pad or something like that. So um, you can load individual samples into each slot here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my sample pack that I was looking at and put like maybe just two kicks in. So you can see here, I'm just gonna find the sample I want, click and drag it into the slot that I want it to go in. Okay, you can also drag a couple. So here I'm gonna highlight, for example, three kicks. If you have a bunch of hi-hats, for example, that you wanna drag in, you can highlight or select a multiple. And then when I drag, they'll all load right next to each other. Yep, so now I have a couple kicks. All right, just gonna get rid of two, don't really need four kicks. Um, let's load some snare sounds. And then let's grab some hi-hats. Just gonna grab a bunch. All right, so now I've got a bunch of samples down here and you can see that each um, sample, you have the option to click the play button, which will just give you a little preview of what it sounds like. You can mute and you can also solo the sound when you have your drums going. Okay, so I'm gonna now create a clip here um, in my drum rack track. So I'm going to just double click on the first slot and now I've got a one bar uh, clip right here. Okay, just gonna pull this up, make it a little bit bigger and you can see all my drum sounds are right here. Okay, so one little trick here is to click this button okay, right above, it's a little pair of headphones, and you'll see it turns blue. And now when I click on the piano, because um, this is the piano roll here, right? This is the piano roll. So when I click on the little piano notes or keys, I can get a preview of the sound. Also, when I uh, draw a note in, it'll make uh, the sound that it's um, of the sample. Okay, so that way you can kind of keep track. All right. So there are a couple ways of drawing in your notes, right? This is assuming that you're not playing in, but you're just gonna draw them in. So you can just double click on a slot here and then a note appears and then you can adjust it, you know, just by clicking with the mouse and pulling. Um, you can also use what's called the pencil tool or draw tool and you access that but just by hitting B. B is the um, keyboard hotkey. So if you take a look at the cursor, when I hit B, it turns into this little pencil. Okay, it turns into this little pencil. So now all it takes is just one click and I can place things in. Um, also, I can hold down, so I'm just clicking and holding, and then if I drag across, now I have a whole row of hi-hats here. 
Okay, so that's a really nice way to do it. Um, so I love using the pencil tool. It's really fast, really easy. Um, so let's, oops, <laughs> let's just get, didn't mean to delete the whole thing, just the hats. Okay, let's just make a really simple beat here, kind of stick with the hip hop. And then let's duplicate that. And let's see what we got. All right, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so you can see here at the bottom, all these little red uh, lines here, they represent the velocity, okay, the velocity or how hard the drum is being hit or how hard the hi-hat is being hit and whatever is going on. So um, you can adjust these just by going down here, clicking on the little circle and you can hear as I drag it up, it gets louder. If I drag it down, it gets quieter. So that's a really nice way to add some depth to your drums, right? It can sound really robotic if all the drums are being hit at exactly the same. So um, I'm gonna make this first snare just a little bit quieter than the second. I'm gonna take, let's see, every other hi-hat. Um, this is especially important with your hi-hats because there's a lot of hits. So if they're all the same, it's just gonna sound like really robotic, um, you know, very computerized. So um, I'm just hitting shift and clicking every other hi-hat. Okay, and then you can see down here the ones that got darker, right? There's uh, bright ones and dark ones. The ones that are dark are the ones highlighted. And now you can see when I drag down, all of them are pulling down or all of them are going up. So that's really convenient way to, um, to edit a bunch all at once. Okay, and I'm actually going to make uh, highlight all my hats and just drag them down a little bit because I don't want the hats to be too loud. And so now let's take a listen. Should sound a lot better. Yeah, so you can hear the difference um, from before when everything was just kind of really loud um, and sounded exactly the same. All right, so that's velocity. Yeah.